Welcome to Fast Friday. We're gonna get through this. Today we are talking about back button focus on the Fujifilm X-T2 and the X-T3. There are two ways to do back button focus, the normal way, and then a sort of hybrid way that I do, for those of you new hobbyists or photographers joining us, what is back button focus? The norm for many cameras is when you half press the shutter button, the camera locks the focus, and then you continue pressing all the way through to take your shot, no surprise there. But as you take more pictures, you will start to notice that some situations can be problematic. For example, high movement sports in a small area such as karate, portraits where you have the same framing but the angle changes slightly, and shooting in low light situations where you don't want the camera to take any precious milliseconds in locking the focus. Back button focus is the process of removing the focusing from the shutter button and putting it somewhere else on another button on the camera, usually on the back. Back button focusing, get it? right? <laughs> there are two methods to do back button focusing on the Fujifilm X-T2 and X-T3, and the procedure is the same for both cameras, so whichever one you have, you can follow along. I'm going to show you the traditional way first. So I have a Fujifilm X-T2 here, and I am going into my menu. And what is so confusing about getting back button focusing set up is the poorly placed location of where you make the change in the menu. You would think they would put it in AFMF, right? Focus, the word focus, back button focus, and that's where you put it. No, they don't do that. They shove it way down in the button setting. So here's where you need to go to change that. You go into the little wrench, you go into button dial settings, and it is located on page two. It's called Shutter AF. You choose AFS and you simply switch it off. Now that you've done that, when you press the shutter button, it will no longer lock focus, okay? So that's it. Now, obviously, now you need to assign a button to do the focusing for you. So what you do is you press and hold the DIS P button on the back for a few seconds, hold it down until you see the button customizing screen. Most people will choose this button right here and they select AF on for that and you're good to go. So at this point with this camera, you can be in C mode right here. And when you go to take the picture, you're gonna need to use your thumb to use this button right here to do the back button focusing. Try that out. There are really good advantages to doing it. For example, check this shot out right here that I took with the Fujifilm 90 millimeter lens. It is a karate scene in a low light situation and the subject was moving constantly back and forth like this, you know, sparring. Back button focusing for me worked beautifully with this because I didn't have to keep locking focus. That was a situation where back button focusing works really, really well. So try it out. Now I'm going to show you the method I prefer to set up back button focusing on the X-T2 and the X-T3, and there's a reason for it. Let me show you how that works, okay? It's really simple. There's only one setting change you need to do. First of all, when you go into your menu, you don't decouple the focus from the shutter button. You leave it alone, okay? So the shutter button right now, if I half press it, it will still lock focus. That's what I want. Here's how I make the change, and this is the only change that I make. I press and hold down the DISP button on the back for a few seconds until I get this menu right here, and then I scroll down, and remember, I can assign any button for this, but instead of using this little button right here, I'm gonna go and use the back command dial. Did you know you can press that in? A lot of people don't know that. So what I do is I choose that, and I select that, and then I choose AF on, I choose AF on and assign it to that button. That's it. I now have the best of both worlds. If I'm in a situation where I wanna use back button focusing, I simply put the camera in M for manual mode and then I can do all the back button focusing I wanna do. It's awesome. So I just put it in M and then I've got my back button focusing and I'm happy, happy, happy taking pictures. However, if I'm in a situation where I wanna have focus lock by press, say I'm reframing and I wanna you know, have the normal way of focusing, I simply put the camera in S or C mode. How awesome is that? Then I have the normal way of doing it. I can do both. And it's so easy to find this command. It just, you, you press right, mm, 
it, it feels good. It's easy. You can find it. It's great. I love it doing it this way. But you can assign any button you want. And the last advantage to doing it this way, let's say you're somewhere with your family and you're out and you're taking pictures using, you know, back button focusing. And suddenly, you know, you sudden you see, hey, excuse me, can you take a picture of us? And you hand your camera to someone. All you got to do is take your camera out of manual mode, throw it into S, click it into S, hand them the camera, and whoever is taking your picture is going to have that normal half button press shutter thingy, you know what I'm talking about. So it's awesome. It is a great way to do it. Okay, that's it. Fast Friday. I hope this has been helpful for you. These are my tips. It works for me. What's so awesome about YouTube is that you can comment below. And if you have a better way of doing it, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Sometimes I, I, I'm running out of ideas for these videos. So if you have any suggestions of something that you would like me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I know you got to go. So do I. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. You still here? Hey, here's something funny. I now have the ability to go through these menus and you can see them here. So, you know, ding, 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 ding. Like, the, you know, I can go through the menus, but have a nice day.